Hey everybody, it's Bobby here filling in for my mom once again on her YouTube channel. Thanks for joining. I'm going to make something really healthy and delicious for you today that I think you're going to like. We're going to cut, cut a couple of corners and I'm going to tell you how you can do it differently if you chose to. Um, but it's a really straightforward, great, easy dish. It's called a California, excuse me, called a cauliflower, a Mediterranean cauliflower um, casserole. That's what it's easy to say, wasn't it? Okay, so I've already uh, boiled and drained my cauliflower. It's soft and tender over here. So the next step in the process is onion sauteed in our skillet. So in goes the onion. It smells so fresh and delicious, and we're just going to let this saute for a couple of minutes. Get a little color to it before we add our garlic and our calamata olive. Some of my favorite things are involved in this recipe. I love olive. I love all things Mediterranean, actually. I love tomatoes and olives, and it also happens that I like um, cauliflower. So this dish is right up my alley. It's a simple bake, and uh, I think you're going to like it. So the ways that we're cutting some corners are, I'm going to use um, some pre-minced garlic. Okay? And I know that people have feelings. People have feelings <laughs> on the garlic. You can mince it yourself. At home, I have a garlic mincer, and generally I, I mince fresh, fresh garlic. Whenever I'm using garlic, but this is a um, uh, this is a really simple way to cut down um, your task a little bit and have to do a little bit less work. I'm also going to use uh, canned diced tomatoes, but you know when I'm at home, I usually take grape tomatoes or vine ripe whatever I have and throw them into a food processor and um, that's how I do mine. So, uh, but really simple. To um, just use canned tomatoes and a little bit of pre minced garlic. And I promise you that uh, none of your guests or your family will be any too wise or anything. It'll be equally delicious. So I've got everything um, sauteing nicely here. Add my tomatoes. And while my uh, pan is rolling over here, why don't we go ahead and put our cauliflower into our casserole dish. Got uh, a few simple steps here. And I think that um, maybe your family will really like this. Okay, so our cauliflower, nice and tender. Mm. <laughs> you know what we do at my house too? When you have kids, I do. Sometimes you have to find a way to sneak the vegetables into their bellies, into their diets. So uh, my wife Claudia makes a lot of um, cauliflower rice. Nothing fancy. You guys are probably all super familiar with cauliflower rice. Uh, it's easy to do at the house, and it's a great way to um, kind of trick your kids. Sometimes you have to do that, or we, you know, you hide. You hide things inside macaroni and cheeses. You do all sorts. You learn all sorts of little tricks when you have uh, have kids. So what we're going to do is have our cauliflower in our casserole dish here. We're going to get our saute pan, um, really nice, warm. Um, get those onions uh, nice and tender, and the garlic. Get everything married together. This already sounds like it smells like a really good um, Italian dish coming together here. And the only thing that we're missing is the calamari olives. So why don't we, while this finishes sauteing, we'll take a little break and then we'll come right back. This looks and smells so good. It's such a simple combination. And it's really thickened up nicely. That's about 10 minutes on the stove top. Exactly what I want it to look like. The only thing missing, calamata olives. Ooh, wee! And people, Either love olives, it seems, or they do not love olives at all. I am an olive lover. I keep jars of olives of all sorts in my house all the time. And just snack on them. I love it. And that's really going to give this uh, dish some pop. Some great flavor. And that Mediterranean component. Be honest. I could sit down and just eat this out of the bowl. <laughs> no problem. Who 
would be great over pasta if you wanted to do it, but this is a super healthy uh, recipe that you can feel great about. Okay, so we're all done here. Turn our stove top off. We're just going to pour this right over the top of our cauliflower. Mm -hmm. I'm liking it. Beautiful. Put a spread and make sure that it gets into all those crevices. And to Finish it all. Crumble feta right to the top. Boy, is this going to be good. I think I'm going to go hard on the feta. I'm not going to skimp because this is a skinny recipe. I think I'm going to use all this feta. Mm hmm. Now that's more. <laughs> So into the oven uh, for, I don't know, maybe about 15 minutes. We'll check it and see how it looks because everything's already cooked after all. We don't want to burn it. We just want to make it nice and casserole So we'll see you in just a few minutes. Our Mediterranean cauliflower casserole is out of the oven. It only took about 10 minutes. It's nice and uh, warm. And you can see that my feta cheese, feta cheese doesn't really melt. It sort of just gets brown and it looks and smells so good. Let's see how it tastes. I'm only going to take one bite. Uh, make it a good one. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. The garlic and the tomatoes. <clears throat> Great together in the Kalamata, Kalamata olives. Give it just the right amount of oomph. It's got an umami. Uh, sort of feel and flavor to it. It's really good. I think that your guests are going to love it. So, Mediterranean cauliflower casserole. Super healthy, super simple, super fast, and your guests will love it. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.